Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day. And in today's video, we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of this brand new doll line called Fresh Beats. And the doll we have today is Bao BB. And these dolls are actually under the Fresh Dolls umbrella, but these are much more stylized than the other Fresh Dolls. And I'm so excited because I am such a sucker for these big headed stylized dolls. And I think this doll is absolutely absolutely beautiful. I was first introduced to these at Sweet Sweet this year, which is a big like toy event, and that was a few weeks ago. So I'm so excited that they are right here on store shelves. And this doll retailed for $17.99 and I found her at Target. The official release date for these is August 1st, but a lot of people are already finding them at Target. So if you're looking, start start checking it out. Um, so it says that she has premium hair. So it says with premium hair, you can create updos, ponytails, bantu knots, afro puffs, and then on the back, it says Fresh Beats. Music is a universal language that inspires us to sing freely, express authentically, and live to the beat of our own drums. And then beat is be as extra or be extra as the stars. So beats. And then here it says Bao BB or Bao Baby. Or I guess that means I should pronounce it baby. I don't know. Um, Pop Princess Bao Baby is Afro Asian, aka Blasian, from Oakland, California. She gained popularity on social media and skyrocketed to fame after she was featured on her friend. Beignet Aule's hit song, I think. Um, sorry, I'm not sure about this word. Uh, but I think it's French. Bao loves health and fitness when not in the recording studio. You can find her helping with health and wellness causes on social media. And then we have information on fresh dolls, premium, washable, and stylable, stylable hair. Braid it, twist it, roll it. And this is the barcode if you need it. All right, let's get her out of the box. Bao Baby is out of the packaging and this is what she looks like. And because this is my first review of a Fresh Beats doll, we will be reviewing the doll as she is and then we will be going over her articulation. So if you're interested in that, check the timestamps at the bottom of this video and you should be able to jump around in this video if that's what you're interested in. So first we're just gonna go over her like all my other doll reviews and ignore the articulation. And by the way, these dolls do not come with stands. I put her on a stand for my personal collection. They only come with the doll and what the doll is wearing for $17.99. All right, so first starters, then to show them to you, because again, these are a special patent pending type of doll hair. So this is something all new. And as you can see, these are really interesting. They appear to just be really tight hair twists that are holding themselves together um, really well. So I think these look really, really fantastic and really realistic too. And they're holding themselves together super, super well. All right, so now we'll start for real. I wanna take a look at her face which is so pretty. This is my favorite thing about these dolls. As you can see, she has these big printed eyes that have like a olive color brown. I love that eye color. It's really beautiful. I also really love the lip color. I just think she looks so friendly and the eyebrows like, and look at that pink and green eyeshadow. She's just really, really beautiful. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. And then her hair is, there's some green up front and also below the ponytail. Oh, whoa, there's way more than I thought there was. Okay, so ton of green in the back here that goes into this high ponytail, which is just done with a rubber band. And then I wanna try to look at the scalp, although like rooting pattern doesn't really apply, but yeah, there's a lot of hair on her head. So kind of similar to how I would think this would be done in real life, like how it would be distributed. Pretty good. She has a lot, a lot of hair on her head and I think you could do a lot of different hairstyles. And something I think is really cool is that the hairline looks quite different from other dolls that are meant to have this sort of style, but I actually think hers looks a lot more realistic and really, really cool. And then let me show you this doll's face really quickly because I want to show you like straight on profile. I love the nose and then half profile. She looks really pretty in half profile. Oh, this doll's so, so gorgeous. All right, so that's it for the head and the hair. She's really, really cool. And then moving down, we can take a look at the shirt, which is this really, really beautiful flower shirt. I really love this doll's style. And I was immediately drawn to this one at Sweet Sweet because of this shirt. Despite this one's fashion being so flowery and having a green and pink color scheme, which is usually my favorite, there was one who just really stood out to me, but I haven't found them yet. I went to my store again today and they still didn't stock that one, but I will say that this one was sold out, so pretty cool because almost nothing else at the store had actually been touched but the fresh dolls or the um fresh beats sold out a little bit so that's pretty cool anyway so next we're going to be taking a look at her top which is so 
cute like I was saying like so they're these big petals that are sewn in the middle and you can see that there's three different ones on the front and then all of them are cut around and continue on to the back and are sewn again there and I will say I was a bit nervous because it's sweet sweet I think because the doll had been played with all day the shirt was not fitting the best but on my actual doll it looks really really good which I really really like and I love the way there's a gradient from this dark pink to light pink on all of the petals as you can see even the ones that are hidden underneath isn't this so cute and then the edges are not hemmed they are laser cut so um they shouldn't be fraying but um I don't really mind that they're laser cut not hemmed because these are flower petals and I think adding the hemming would make them quite bulky and everywhere else that you would need some kind of finishing on is finished on this doll so I personally think that this was a stylistic choice to make it look more like flower petals and not have big bulky seams but I don't know that's just for me I don't mind and then her top is just a simple stretchy bandeau top underneath really really pretty i just this top is so cool and i don't know if i've seen anything like it on a doll at least not one in my collection so i am very very excited to have such a unique and beautiful fashion piece in my doll collection on this beautiful doll and then moving down we could take a look at her pants which if you're trying to approximate what color this is and if you look here it's actually quite different from the laser green here i'd say this is kind of like a tennis ball uh, color. <laughs> it's quite yellow. I think this is really cool. It's such a different color and it's so springy. I I really like this one and I like that they went with something different from the green so it wasn't just like pink green, pink green, pink green. You've got something a lot different here. And these are awesome. They're really nice quality. The fabric's a little thin but it's not something that is a bad thing. Um, and I love the way they're gathered so that they look very like slouchy and cute all over oh and they've got like a high waist with and you can just see like they're gathered at the waistband too and at the ankles and these are just really professionally done really really nice pants and i super like them you can see on the back all the detail remains and there's even these little green bows so these are lime green so it's kind of hard to tell on camera but you can see how these are a lot yellower and this is more not really a lime green i'd say like a spring green it is different than this color as you can see just a little but i don't think there's any like non-matching of the color story i actually think it's quite nice and then we have her gold shoes my only criticism with the fashion of this doll which isn't actually a criticism of the fashion at all is that the shoes are gold which kind of comes out of nowhere which is fine because your shoes can be a statement piece but i kind of wish that she had had like maybe a necklace or a bracelet or something in gold um to kind of bring back this gold but i can just add one for my doll collection and these are metallic and oh she has tiny little feet and this is what they look like i like these they're very simple but super, super cute. And I like how industrial they look with the little like brads. It almost looks like metal, which is pretty cool. And you can see the shape of the heel is also pretty neat. And the shoes were super easy to take off and to put back on, but they don't like fly off your doll's foot, which is very nice. All right, so that is our overview of the doll. So next I wanna show you guys her articulation and we'll also be comparing her to some other dolls in the market so you can get a sense for the size of this doll. Because I don't know, for some reason when I saw them, when I... When I saw them at Sweet Sweet, they were next to the Fresh Dolls, so I knew how big they were going to be. But in photos, for some reason, I just felt that they were smaller than they are. Um, but they're, they're an interesting size. I'll show you guys. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get her undressed so we can take a look at the articulation. First, we'll be looking at the articulation of the Fresh Beats doll on her own. And then we'll be just comparing like her height and stuff to other doll lines on the market. So for starters, something I immediately noticed is that I think there's an issue with the arm articulation. So you might notice that mine are kind of posed permanently like this and I haven't been able to get them to go down so hopefully that's just something with the first wave of these dolls so for starters let's take a look at the head motion so it does look like there is potential for up and down movement but it doesn't function super well but it definitely does function at least a little bit so you can get some photography with that and then she does have tilt pretty good tilt actually and of course spin all the way around that's kind of expected i would be surprised if a doll couldn't do that i specifically really like the head tilt because the head is so big i just think that's really pretty on this doll i don't know and then she has really good arm mobility except that she can't reach a right angle here um i'm not sure what it is but the shoulder specifically is not very free on these dolls so again i'm pushing really hard to try to get them to reach this and they can't really um so that's quite interesting and then her elbow can reach just about a right angle but 
not amazing but not terrible either and then it is carved outward here to cover up the joint when it's in a straight position so can't go too far that way but no big deal to me on that one and then the articulation style is also different from a lot of dolls you're going to be used to it'll click into different positions so if you can hear that so you can get intermediate positions but it can be a little bit difficult because it has a tendency to want to stay in certain positions and then she can sit yay and she ooh. She can bend her knees. This one is just not wanting to cooperate. If this happens, heat it up with warm water and it should work fine. Um, hopefully, just don't push it too hard. Like you can see the joint in there. Um, sometimes that happens with the vinyl here. That's not really an issue with fresh beats necessarily. I actually had it just happen with another doll. So not a big deal to me, but that can reach a right angle and that's it. And then she has really tiny feet with no articulation to them. And this articulation is fairly standard on the market right now. I kind of wish that she had another joint, like a chest joint or something, but um, I don't really mind. I don't think she needed any more. And I think she can hit a lot of really pretty poses. The arms are very limiting, though. I'm very confused about the arm situation. All right, so I've got a couple other dolls that I thought everybody would have at least have experience with one. So I've got a Barbie doll. This is a Barbie movie doll. I've got an OMG doll, and I've got a Rainbow High doll. And this is what they all look like. So her body, to me, looks closest to an OMG doll. Some Monster High dolls, I think, like Draculaura's body, maybe. Um, but quite different, anyway. Um, so, yeah. As you can see, she's actually larger. For some reason, to me, I viewed her as probably being about OMG height, but she's considerably taller. Maybe not considerably, but she's a little bit taller. And especially the body is pretty different in height, which I was not expecting. And, yeah. All right. So I'm going to put her outfit back on. I'll be right back. And that's it for the main review and the comparison. So now it's time for my final thoughts. I'm really impressed. I think the outfit quality was really good. The overall build quality of the doll was pretty good. And for a new doll line, I like to give them a lot of grace because nearly every single doll line that you guys know and love had some trouble during their first line with some weird things that you wouldn't expect, especially articulation. Like Rainbow High especially was egregiously bad at launch. So trust the process. I'm, I hope that they improve. Um, there's only a few issues with this. Like the knee thing I think is just a defect that I'm not too worried about because I, I know how to fix it. But the the arm thing is a little weird. So hopefully they're able to fix that by the time a second series comes out if they do that or at least more batches of these characters come out. I think that this doll is absolutely beautiful. If you're not familiar with the Fresh dolls, they specifically do a lot of black dolls and they have an emphasis on black hairstyles. And um, that makes these dolls really, really unique. And I have some experience with the Fresh dolls. I think they're very beautiful dolls and I have a few of them. It's just that I specifically prefer a lot more stylized dolls like this with the big heads and stuff. So, I mean, you can tell, right? Like all my favorite doll brands have these big old heads. I think it's just so cute. So <laughs> when I heard about these, I was so excited to finally jump in. And um, so I can't necessarily compare these to like other um, brands Fresh Dolls has going, mostly the Fresh Dolls, because... I don't know. Um, I, the ones that I have are pretty good quality, but I think that this one, specifically these pants, are really, really fantastic. And none of the other Fresh Dolls that I have have pants that are this nice or outfit pieces that are that nice. But it could just be that I just don't have ones with outfit pieces that nice. Them at Sweet Sweet and learn about the like exclusivity of these, that they're patent pending, meaning that only the Fresh Dolls can use them. And I'm very curious about the other dolls that have these. There's a bunch of different dolls that they have. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested because they have some online exclusive dolls that are amazing, especially some boy dolls that I'm actually interested in because you guys know that I do not like boy dolls, but these dolls are like unbelievably stunning. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I think the $17.99 price point is fair considering right now a deluxe doll that comes with the, you know, like extra stuff, sometimes a second outfit, will retail around $25. So this doll is $7 and you get what you get with her. I think for this to be like, absolutely, this is 100% worth $17. Um, I just wish I had a stand, but that's just me. I always want to have a stand, but my stand issues are good because I have a ridiculous amount of these, um, which if you're interested in these stands, like you can see that they fit this doll really well. And most of my other dolls in my collection, if you look around, um, I'll put a link in the description to where I get mine. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so I may earn if you purchase from that link. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I'd love to know what you guys think. I think the faces might be divisive on these, but I just, the faces are so beautiful on these dolls. Like, I think that these are super, super well done. Sometimes a really flat, 
um, decal style face paint worries me because some dolls with this not ideal like they're not the best to me but I think this one's super well done I think the sculpt is very simple but has a lot of detail where it needs to I especially really love the side profile and the nose on this doll I think she's really really pretty and I can't wait to see what the other dolls look like I assume they all have the same face sculpt but I don't know Maybe they have different face sculpts. I didn't look that closely at Sweet Sweet, and I kind of wish that I did, but I'm definitely planning to add the rest of these dolls to my collection. Oh yeah, and there is, I'm pretty sure, an associated media coming soon with these, su supposedly in August. Um, so make sure you follow the Fresh Dolls on their social media. I'll link them in the description. I did buy this doll with my own money, to be clear. Like, I'll also link the toy hunt where I got this one in the description if you're interested in seeing like all the new products that showed up at my Target, because my Target had so much new stuff. It was really exciting. Um, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I would really love to know what you guys think too, um, because I've never reviewed one of these dolls, of course, because they're brand new. And have you guys found these yet? If you've been kind of looking at Target and have you found the other two characters? Who's your favorite? Let me know. Okay, for real this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.